Hi guys, I'm glad to see you. Hope you hear a lot about ChatGPT. And today I propose you to test uh, so huge artificial intelligence possibility to code simple MATLAB. Thus, uh, first of all, let me introduce our instruments. I will use uh, OpenAI platform, uh, especially Playground, where we have a place for interrogation with ChatGPT. At, at the right side, we've got some panel with the settings. That's why we can change uh, ChatGPT model uh, or specific uh, settings for, for example, like maximum length of answer. And we need actually to increase it a little bit, maybe up to 1000, because we will create a little bit more complicated code, probably. Thus, uh, first of all, I propose to start from some simple thing in MATLAB, and it will be plotting a graphs. Thus, uh, let's uh, try to write some request for our chat GPT for uh, code creation, and we can do it quite easily. We just need to specify what we need to get. Write uh, code in uh, MATLAB. Yep, it will be enough. If you would like, you even can specify a version of what MATLAB. Thus, we can use version or just a year, uh, which MATLAB we use. That's why for me it is 2016. Uh, and uh, first of all, let's try to test it for plotting simple function. Thus, uh, write code in MATLAB uh, to plot uh, a function. And then uh, we could specify a function. For example, y is equal to sine let it be in degrees, uh, then we could specify x, x as uh, argument of this function, and uh, then we can add some line specification, which we would like to obtain by uh, red uh, color, uh, maybe dashed uh, line, uh, specification and probably and uh, double line width could we check how it works and uh, then we specify that we would like to get it in a separate uh, figure And also, uh, we could specify uh, X and Y uh, labels. That's why could we just put uh, specify X and Y labels. Um, grid on, let's try. Grid on. And... Um, in addition, let's specify an uh, interval for our, uh, for our argument of our function. And we just put it like, like simple interval for x from 0 degree from zero degree to, for example, 180 degrees. Okay, uh, uh, let's run, ask ChatGPT to generate a code, and when we submit, we will see that we've got something. Okay, that's why ChatGPT uh, introduce a variable x, then specify function y, and then uh, separate uh, a block for figure creation. Uh, also, let's try to add 
something interesting. I think uh, if we can just uh, okay, just a second, just add add comments in each line. I think in this case uh, it will be much more clear what chat GPT would like to do. Okay, and in this case you will see that we've got uh, comments in each line with a description what uh, particular line is uh, uh, doing. Thus, I've got a code, that's why we can just copy it and let it check in MATLAB. Okay, I've got already open editor. That's why we can just copy our script and then press run. And uh, here we are, we've got our sign function. Uh, as we can see, everything is quite simple and everything is quite clear. We specify what we would like and then ChatGPT generates a code. Uh, this code then we can copy, put uh, into the editor of MATLAB and then run in MATLAB. And we've got results. Let's uh, try to uh, change a little bit. Uh, our code to get a more complicated task. First of all, uh, if you know that uh, in MATLAB we need to uh, clear everything before we will run uh, our code for execution, because uh, by default uh, MATLAB store everything that we count before. Therefore, before each uh, coding we need to make uh, clear workspace and uh, let's check how MATLAB, uh, how ChatGPT will understand our command clear workspace and also because we are working with the figures let add uh, probably close uh, all uh, figures and if you submit it uh, you will see in just a second. Okay. Let's submit it one more time. Okay, and now it works. Uh, thus, first of all, MATLAB clear our workspace with the command clear. Then Clo use close all to close all open figures because each time when we run uh, each figures which will be generated uh, will be uh, stored in our desktop. That's why we need just to clear everything to make our computer more productive. Uh, then also you will see that in this case uh, ChatGPT uh, use, uses another way how to create matrix X or with variables. If you remember previously it was um, generated with the help of simple uh, two points and uh, now we, we use line space to create a matrix from 0 to 180. It was specified in our request in degrees and uh, 1000 points uh, are used for building this graph. Then uh, we count uh, Y value and then create a figure. That's why uh, I think we can uh, copy it and try to run it in with the help of our MATLAB environment and see how it works. Therefore, I just copy, paste and uh, push run button. And finally, I've got a result. Also, when each time when we run, our workspace will be cleared. That's why it's good and it is there. Uh, exactly what we need to do.
Let's uh, create more complicated request. And actually now I would like to add additional graph. Thus, let's, uh, to, let's plot uh, two graphs at one plot in one figure. And uh, to do that, we can just add to, to plot a functions. Then we could specify y1, uh, which will be equal, okay, cosine, okay, sorry, cosine d from x. Oh, okay, let's make it a little bit complicated to check arithmetic operations in MATLAB. Therefore, I just put 3. 3 cosine d, it means like 3 multiply with a cosine uh, x. However, uh, you see, I do not put multiplication. That's why let's check how uh, chat GPT will understand uh, my enter. And then uh, let's specify uh, by uh, green, green uh, color, uh, solid, uh, solid uh, line uh, specification. Uh, okay, uh, then I will change probably second uh, my function to y2 sine d could it be plus uh, okay probably cosine d from x plus 5 uh, and here probably I need to specify uh, how I would like to get my plot and in my case I would like to put everything in one Plot. Thus, just add in one separate uh, figure. Okay, we could specify in one plot and separate figures. Thus, uh, let's submit and see what we will have. Okay. Thus, we've got clear, we've got close all, yes, good one. Then uh, chat GPT come back to, uh, to uh, simple uh, creation of variable x. Then we see that we define the y1 equation. y1 is 3 multiply with this cosine d. Also, you will see that 3 and multiplication here is a period. That's why chat GPT works uh, quite well with their functions, trigonometric functions. Then we define the second equation. Yes, we've got it. And then we've got uh, simplified form for entering two plots in one plot. You will see that uh, also the shortest way for entering line specification and uh, double line width. Then uh, X label, Y label and uh, grid on. Probably it will work. Thus just uh, copy our code, then go to uh, script editor in MATLAB, copy paste and then just run. And here we are. Our graphs are here and you will see that it will take a few minutes to get anything that I need. What just we need to do, we just need to specify exactly what we need. Do not miss anything. Specify colors, specify uh, line specifications, uh, you can even guide with uh, limit of, uh, of data which you would like to get. Thus, try to put everything in words and then ChatGPT generates you a great code which, we, which you can run in MATLAB. Thus, thank you for your attention. Let's time, let's... Uh, 
next time we will try to test something else.